sing. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Woo! Yo, daddy. Yo, kill gotcha! Hello, honey. Honey, your voice is sounding hot. Any problem? Amanda is in a bad state. Amanda? What? Uh, when? 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 How, how? Where? I don't know. We went to pick her from the school. And she was running to meet us. She's so very long. I heard it. Yeah, she's uh, coming. Amanda. Yes, sir. Our Amanda in this school. Yes, sir. What happened? I really don't know, but I just got the information from Mr. Oh, Kemper. Oh, you teachers will not. Will you teachers will not kill me? Okay, let me tell you. The other time we had a meeting, I told you always keep a close tab on these children. Please, can you go and find out the situation report of her head? Please. You know the way their parents behave. Yes, sir. I'll call the mom now to find out. Please go, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, please, my daughter was rushed into this hospital today, a few hours ago. Yeah, um, a small seven, eight, nine years ago. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. It's okay. It will be alright. Okay? What happened? What happened? I don't know. I went to ask her to pick her up. Okay. I was the best to bring up that made that. Yes, yes, yes. So, as Sophia and I, we are standing by the car waiting for her. Okay. She was running towards us, you know, with her gimmick act. Yes, yes. Suddenly, she began to hit to the ground. And here we are. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You, you did no good. You did no good, okay? Everything will be alright, eh? Okay? Why do I know my head? Let nothing happen to my daughter. See, it's alright. Eh? You need to stop all this. Nothing is going to happen to her. Let's just wait for the doctor to come around. It's okay, dear. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Dr. Chris would like to see you in his office. Please come with me. What's the problem with my angel? Um, we cannot ascertain until this time tomorrow. She's at the intensive care unit ward and uh, we're running some tests on her. We've been able to stabilize her, but one thing we discovered is that she will need blood transfusion. What? Blood transfusion? Oh my God. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There is no need to panic. Madam, blood transfusion is not a dead sentence, please. Calm down, okay? Everything will be all right. I can assure you. Okay. So, what do we do now? Talk to God also. All right? Meanwhile, I'll need you guys to do a deposit of 50000 at the account as we go on. Okay? But I can assure you everything will be all right. Nurse Eno. Sir. Please take them to account. Okay. Okay, sir.
Nurse Eno, yes. please give me the file of the little girl at the ICU. Who, please? Amanda Godwin. Oh, okay. Good day, sir. Uh, good day, nurse. Uh, good day, Mr. Mike. Yes, good day, how are you? How are you, madam? Fine, thank you. Okay, we've come to see Dr. Chris, please. Oh, okay, he's been expecting you. Oh, very This good. way, please. Thank you. Let me have the file. Uh, nurse, you can go tell Tunde at the lab to stand by for me. I'll be needing him soon. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Madam, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Okay. Mike? Yes, Madam. Yes. We, we ran a series of tests on your daughter to um, determine what is wrong with her. We also did an x-ray. That's what I was looking at when you guys came in. Your daughter is suffering from a condition called atrial septal defect. Meaning? Meaning she has a hole in the heart. Jesus Christ. A hole in the heart? Oh my God. <laughs> Madam, please. Please, don't, don't panic, okay? It's not an impossible case. It's something we can handle, all right? Treatment can be done in two ways. Hmm? either through what we call a catheter procedure, depending on the location of the hole and its size, or through surgery. Oh my God! <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Madam, please, please, it's okay, it's okay. Everything will be all right, okay? Now, in your daughter's case, by reason of the enlarging size of the hole and its location, we're going to have to do a surgery. We've also been able to determine her blood level and group, and she's B negative. So we'll be, we'll be needing some pints of blood for the surgery. Yeah. Uh, Nurse Abigail? Nurse Abigail? Sir? Please come. She will take you to the lab to draw your blood samples to determine the level and the group mm -hmm. so that we can check for compatibility with that of your daughter. Okay, sir.
on, baby. Pick up your phone. Will you? What's going on? I can see Ben B right now. Mr. Tunde at the lab should be done with the Godwins by now. I hope so, sir. Good. Once she is properly stabilized, we'll have her in the theater for the surgery. Yes, sir. Okay? That should be in about four days' time. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Tell Mr. Tunde to hurry up and then bring the results of the test and come along with uh, the Godwins to my office. Okay, sir. Mike? Yes, Grace. The results here show that none of your blood groups matches that of your daughter. We have a problem. Your blood is infection free. Hmm? Yeah. But uh, they don't match with that of your daughter, so we cannot use your blood. So what do you suggest we do then? We can do either of two things. One, we can buy from the blood bank. You can check with some family and friends to find out who has a compatible blood group with that of your daughter. Those are the two options we have right now. Um, Chris, I'll get back to you at the end, at the end of <clears throat> today with something. Okay. I, I just trust God. Uh, it's okay, Mike. Just meanwhile, we would like to stop by at the world to smile. That's okay. That's okay. But don't stress that too much, okay? And uh, I'm in this together with you guys. Don't worry, I'll be praying for you also. Thank you very much. You're right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Madam, take it easy, okay? Yesterday, as she told me that Amanda will be undergoing surgery. Surgery? Yes, sir. What surgery? She said the doctor said Amanda has a hole in her heart. Hole in the heart? Yes, sir. It means the school will definitely get involved. You know, Amanda is one of the best pupils we have in the school. Please, can you ensure? You call the parents. Get information from the parents. Then when you tell me, I'll tell the school authority. Miss Kami, have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. I'll pick the Thank you. Suben, where are you? I have been trying to reach you on phone, but you're not taking your calls. Okay, um, is Mike with you? All right, I'll meet you at home then. Master Abigail! 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 Master
Abigail, what is it? The patient in Ward 6 is reacting to the drug seriously. My God! I do not know what to do, Sophie. I'm so disillusioned. No. You cannot be at this moment. Mm -hmm. This is the time for you to think straight and write and be supportive to your husband. We are all in this together. So I will advise you put yourself together and square up to the challenges. Remember, tough time never lasts. What tough people do. Okay? Just calm down. Hmm? Everything will be fine. Tell me, Mike, how many kids would you want to have in addition to the one you already have? Mm. Three kids, two boys, and a girl from you, my angel. Oh, wow. Yeah. You just read my mind, darling. Really? Yeah. Look, honey, I love you very much. And I can never forget the sensation that passed through my spine, spirit, soul, and body the first day I set my eyes on you. Mm. <laughs> and now? It increases as the days go by. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. Yes, and that is because you are a very exciting lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, Mike, Yeah. what's your blood group? My blood group? Yes, um, it's important in marriages. My mom told me so. And the reason is to avoid sickle cell anemia. Well, I guess you're right. I am all positive. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And yours? Well, I am B negative. And our family doctor said that my blood type is very rare and difficult to find. Well, my mom said that I'm a special child. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, you are special. <laughs> and that is why you are my angel. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Genevieve. Oh, God. No. She will never agree to it. And Sibben will skin me alive if he finds out. Oh, God. 
but my daughter is lying critical there at the hospital. Oh no. What do I do now? Where do I go to now? Well, maybe I should discuss with my wife first. But that might just boomerang. Siben would think it's a ploy to go back to Genevieve. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. I've got to think out something positive fast. And moreover, I've assured Chris that I'll get back to him today. Oh no. Abigail, how are you? Fine, how sir. How is it going? Fine, sir. Just that the patient in works is reacted to the drugs given to her. Reacted to the drugs? Yes, sir, but I was able to stabilize her. Good, good. Now, come on, let's go and see her. I'm sorry about everything. What do you want from me again, Mr. Michael? I've come to speak with you. I need some help, please. Please. Listen, Jenny, I'm sorry, but more than anything else, please remember what we shared together. You hurt me, Mike. Shattered my life. And now you're back to bury me, right? You've you got to listen to me, Jenny. I I'm in serious trouble. Um, uh, my daughter, my, my daughter, my, my daughter is dying and she's all I have. She, she's my angel. Why are you here? I need a drink. That doesn't answer my question. I'm sorry I'll have to ask you to leave if you do not tell me why you're here. Jenny. My daughter's dying. She's in the hospital right now. And it is only you that can help bring her back to life. Please, please, Jen, please. Mike, Mike, stop it. Just stop it. This it. Jen, please, I've come to plead with you to help so that my daughter can come back to life. Please. Please. Jenny, I'm begging you. What's the problem? What help do you want from me? If it's within my power, I'll, I'll help you. My daughter has a hole in her heart. Oh my God. She needs surgery. That's serious. 
Listen, Mike. I am so sorry about your daughter. But how do I come in? I am not a medical doctor. She's being negative. And my blood and my wife's blood does not match hers. So? That's where you come in, Jenny. Well, like I said, she's being negative. And I know that you are in the same blood group with her. Be negative. My blood in your daughters? That won't be possible. I mean, there's a mix up here. There's no way my blood type is a match. Just go get to donor somewhere else. Jenny. Jenny, my daughter's dying. Please, please. I can't do it. Jenny. 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 Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello? Mike? Yeah, Chris? Any news? Positive. Oh, praise God. That's good news. We'll be coming over tomorrow with the donor. All right. We'll be expecting you tomorrow. Good, good, good. Mike has found a donor. Oh. Oh, thank God, do. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, sir, it's time for routine work check. I guess Nas Mary will be waiting for me. All right, no problem. Okay, sir. Well, Mike was here earlier today. Same Mike I know. Yep. What does he want? I hope he's not back to complete the destructive work he started. It has to do with his daughter. Uh -huh. And how is that any of your business? He claimed his daughter is at the hospital and needs to undergo surgery. The last time I checked, you're not the mother. Or are you? <laughs> hey, Gracie baby, I don't understand you. <laughs> the lady of his soldier man, Cornell personified. I chill for your principal. Listen, listen. I am not finding this funny at all. If that guy feels he can come back into your life to mess you up, hell no, I won't take that from him. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, he said that his daughter is on the danger list and needs to undergo surgery so she could leave. She needs blood. Obviously not your blood. <gasps> well, his daughter's blood is very rare, be negative. And her parents' blood type are not the same match, so it's... O positive and A positive. So, are you on the same blood group with the daughter? I think so. I'm B negative. What have you decided to do? Well, 
I have decided to help save his daughter's life. You see, Jay, I have come to love Mike so much, even though we can't end up together. You can never tell. We might need him tomorrow. And you know, there is always a tomorrow. I'm surprised at you. It's obvious you've made up your mind. Good. But remember, it's your call. Okay, thank you. You're so sweet. If there's anything you need, please let me know. And, um, have you met the wife before? Not at all. You need to be careful. Okay. Thank you. Honey, I put a call through to Dr. Priest. Any problem? Uh, no, no. I got a donor, you know. Really? Yes, dear. <sighs> Thank you so much. No, dear. I should be the one thanking you for your patience, for your kindness, for your understanding, for your moral support, for everything, dear. In fact, thank you so much, my dear wife. We're in this together, you know. And she's our daughter. Oh, sure, sure. Hmm. So, who is the donor? Do I know the person? Uh, uh, no, no. It's a friend's cousin. Wow. Yes. You're indeed a great man. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And I am proud of you too. I yeah. love you. I love you too. <laughs> no, Sabi girl. Sir. Please take this young lady, Miss Genevieve, to the lab for a blood sample. Mm -hmm. And let's see its compatibility with that of Amanda. Okay, sir. Shall we please? If it's possible, I'd like to see Amanda briefly, please. Uh, just hold on for now. Let's get the result of the blood sample, and then you can go and see her. Okay, okay, no problems. No, Sabi girl. Sir. Please take this young lady, Miss Genevieve, to the lab for a blood sample. Mm -hmm. okay. And let's see its compatibility with that of Amanda. Okay, sir. Shall we please? If it's possible, I'd like to see Amanda briefly, please. Uh, just hold on for now. Let's get the result of the blood sample, and then you can go and see her. Come in. Congratulations, perfect match. Ah, oh, thank you, God. Thank you so much. I'm so relieved, Chris. I can imagine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Jenny. I am glad that your daughter's life will be saved. Thank you so much. Uh, let me go and see the lab boys so that they can prepare for Nosabi girl to take out their genetic tour. Okay, so I'm very content. Thank you so much, Jenny.
Sorry, ma'am. We'll be with you in a moment. We just want to put things in place. Okay, but please, can you tell Mr. Mike that uh, I'd like to see him right away, please. Okay, I will. Just wait, okay? Mike, how could you? How could you be so stupid as to forget yourself at this critical period of your daughter's situation? What has come over you? Where is your self-control? Your self-esteem? Why didn't you call me to confide in me who the lady is to you? Sophie, what am I doing here? What's going on? What am I doing at the hospital ward? See, thank God you're back. Just relax and take it easy, okay? What am I doing at the hospital ward? Where is my girl? Your husband is with the doctor in the doctor's office. And the girl? Come on. Oh, madam, thank God you're back. Where is my husband? Get me the doctor. Sophie. Doctor, I want to know whom that young girl is. And if she's a donor, I forbid her brought into my daughter's system. I am going to get a donor that matches with that of my daughter. As a matter of truth, I want to supervise who or whatever blood that will be transfused into my daughter. <sighs> no, Sabi girl? Sam. Please get back to work. Madam, please calm down. Alright? Let's handle this matter calmly maturely and as a family bearing in mind that a precious life is at stake i understand and i agree with you totally doctor i will get a donor that matches with my daughter or we do otherwise honey please don't you honey me you should be ashamed of yourself and bury your head in total shame doctor he's the same girl that almost wrecked my life and ruined my marriage michael i am ready to give you the divorce you requested for it's all right. Let us calm down as the doctor has said. There will certainly be a solution to this. Agreed. That girl's blood in question cannot be used on that child. Better. At this point, um, I'll suggest that we go home and sleep over this matter. And... We should bear in mind, like I said, that this is a very tricky situation. The life of a young girl is at stake. Whatever decision you guys are going to take, do it fast. Because in four days' time, we have to go to surgery. I want to see my daughter right away. You have to find a way to calm your wife down and placate her. Yes. Um, leave Miss Genevieve behind. Miss Abigail will take her out of the hospital. Hmm? And go and calm your wife down and placate her. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you so much. How did he go? You look worried. What happened? 
I messed up myself there. How do you mean? I got so stupidly carried away and found myself kissing, kissing him in the doctor's office. Jesus Christ. Jenny, why now? And then his wife caught us in the act. No. What? Oh my God, this is not happening. I feel so stupid and embarrassed. In fact, I am done with this whole bullshit. Oh. I can't do this anymore. Exactly. Oh, I should have gone with you. Ah, oh, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Take it easy on yourself. It's okay. All you need to do is promise yourself it won't happen again. But I still feel so stupid and embarrassed. I mean, he should have told me his wife would be at the hospital. I don't know what came over me. I, I couldn't control myself. I made a fool of myself. It's okay. I understand. But you need to stop condemning yourself because it can happen to anybody. It could have been me. It could have been any other person out there. Huh? Considering the deep affection you have for each other. I still feel so messed up. Are you expecting anyone? Nope. Not to my remembrance. Jenny, who is there? What do you want again? What do you want? Haven't you done enough damage in her life? Jenny, what is going on here? Um. So, what are you going to do now? I want to apologize. Sorry about everything. No, it, it's all right. It, it wasn't your fault, but my... I believe I got carried away. I, I better have to leave now. No, please, 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 Jay. Don't leave now. Please. It's really not his fault, but my... I am to be blamed. Grace, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Lady G, please sit down. Please. Sit down. Lady G, you know me. I have never been in love before. You got everything in me. Please go. Just go. Leave me alone and let me mend my life. 
I love you so much that I couldn't control myself the moment I saw you. Please just go. Leave my house this minute. She said you should go. Go now. Hmm? Are you also deaf? Go! There has not been any positive response. I believe God it will pull through. Yeah. I spoke with one of my cousins who actually discouraged me on the blood bank issue. Mm, according to her, um, it usually has a effect on the recipient. Yeah, she's actually making some calls. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much. God bless you there. Yeah. You know, sometimes life and circumstances makes one stronger and tougher. <laughs> I'm cool. That's great. Well, just be a sweet girl. Huh? Forgive him. I'm sure he must have done that under pressure. And I know he's sorry now. <laughs> so just give him a listening ear. <laughs> you know you have been my wonderful teacher. <laughs> All the same. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? All right. All right. All right, dear. Thank you. Please, please, Sylvia, please. I just needed to give me a listening ear. Let me explain to you. I'm, I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry, please, dear. Please. You want to explain, right? <laughs> okay. I'm all ears, you fool. Tell me what you want to explain. That's what we saw in doctor's office about you kissing and romancing again in the name of blood donor. It's not true, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. I am ashamed to be identified with you as your wife. You know what? I am going to give you the divorce without a cost. Shh. One more thing. From now on, you have all the freedom in the whole world to be with your bitch of a girlfriend. But let me warn you. Don't ever think of getting her blood into my daughter's system. Because I am going to fight the both of you with the last strength in me. Sibben!
Come in. Good day, doctor. Good day, doctor. Sir, you look worried. What is the problem? I am worried about the incident surrounding that poor little girl. How do you mean, sir? The attitude of the parents. It's been two days now since the last incident. Still, no word from them concerning the, the, the blood match. And we have barely 48 hours left. Well, sir, I don't see any problem here. What do you mean? Doctor, you know how patients react to blood transfusion but from most blood banks? And that is why we advise patients getting someone they know with the same match. Yes. Sir, if I may suggest, since the mother has not given us any positive response, and we already have a potential donor, um, though she's the father's mistress, Yes, she is his mistress, so? First invite the father and sell it to him. Invite the husband and wife, telling them that since they cannot get a blood match for the transfusion, that we will go in search of a blood match in our sister lab or blood bank to commence the surgery. And if they refuse, fine. We will discharge the child to them. Because if this child stays here any further, is at risk, and the hospital's reputation is at stake. And after that? Sir, we will then get the controversial donor in question to the sister's lab for the surgery. But before that, Mr. Mike has to sign every necessary document regards to our hospital potential. Exactly. That sounds workable, but it's risky. Sir, with all due respect, everything in life is risky. The water we drink is risky. The food we eat is also risky. But if taken to save a child's life, then it is worth it. I understand what you people are trying to say. It would look like we are trying to encourage Mike to continue his illicit affair with this lady. And I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be associated with that. Sir, we are talking about saving a child's life here. Exactly, sir. <sighs> okay. Well, you have a point. After all, our first responsibility is to save lives. Okay, I want to thank both of you for being part of the efforts to save this young girl's life. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you for listening to our suggestion. That's okay. I will uh, invite Mike to speak with him, then speak with him and his wife, and then I'll put a call through to Dr. Oku. Thereafter, you can take Miss Genevieve there. Okay? Very well, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, this is top secret. Two of you, myself and Mike, no other person should know about this. Don't, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow. Thank you so much, Chris. I'm really, really grateful. See, all I want is for my angel to be okay. Truth is, I really don't know what got into me that day in your office with Genevieve. I, I just lost it. I'm truly, truly sorry. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much. I am, I am just grateful. I'm really grateful. Chris, it is done. It is done. Just, it is done. Thank you very, very much.
at the hospital, right? Yeah. Happy girl. Good morning. Good morning. Please come in. Please sit down. Um, so, to what do I owe this August visit? I don't remember giving you my address. Yeah, sure. We, the hospital. The medical director, Dr. Chris, sent me to you. Um, would you like tea or coffee? Mm. Tea we do. Thank okay. You. I'll be right back. So do feel comfortable. Excuse me. What a gorgeous place you have here. Oh, thank you so much. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so, how may I help you guys? Um, well, it has to do with Amanda, Mr. Mike's daughter. She's in critical <coughs> condition. Easy, please. Easy, easy. Thank you. And about that, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Because the last time I tried to help, I got carried away and almost messed up myself. And that almost got me into trouble. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. But all the same, we still need your help. Especially Mike. Then he should have been here himself and not sent someone else. But right now, I've changed my mind. I don't want to get into trouble with his wife or anybody. Not again. I've accepted the fact that he belongs to another woman. I understand. And um, I commend your now decision. But please, consider saving the dying child. I know you're in position to give life back to her. Please. Abigail, you do not seem to understand. I have decided to stay away from Mike for now. I know it would hurt, but I have to. I perfectly understand you, Jenny. You know, saving this child is going to be a remarkable blessing to him and the girl, which will never be forgotten. Moreover, it's going to be a memory that Mike will ever live with. Please, save the life of this girl. I can't do it. I won't. I mean, they can go get another donor. I, I, I just won't do it. I won't. Jenny, we know you can. Not for the mother. But for the love you have for Mike. You love Mike, don't you? If not for anything, for God, remember, that girl could have been your sister. Please think about it. Abigail, please wait. I'll do it. God oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, but I'll have to join you at the hospital much later. We'll be waiting. Thank you. Mike. Madam, your daughter's life is seriously at stake. Since the blood group match donor is not forthcoming from you guys, the hospital has decided to take things in its own hands and um, get a blood group match donor. But where the two of you um, keep delaying or 
you're not forthcoming by reason of your insensitivity, well, I'll have no option but to discharge the young girl so that you guys can try another hospital. But I don't want to do something that will haunt me forever. We need to take action right now. This we always do to safeguard our reputation and integrity. But where the clients refuse, we have no option than to discharge the patient to try another hospital. I, I don't really get you, doctor. Look, we have to find the right blood group match for your daughter. All right? We have to do that as soon as possible so that transfusion can take place. Without the transfusion, there will be no surgery. I don't want your daughter to die in this hospital. My conscience will haunt me forever. Um, but... Look, the call is yours now, Mike. You guys take a decision. Now, let us move forward. Okay, doctor. Just get a blood match for my daughter. Please save her life. Good, so that's what we're going to do right now. As soon as that is done, the nurse will get the appropriate blood group and bring so that you guys can see. We need to start treatment on that young girl before the situation aggravates. <sighs> Thank you. Can I go to the ward and see her? Please, why not? Don't ever let this happen again. Learn to be faithful to your wife. Yeah, um, I guess I've learned my lessons now. <sighs> Thanks for your understanding. That's okay. Hey, Lady G. I'm good, I'm good. Oh no, I won't be home. I'll soon be on my way to the hospital. Um, well, I have to save Amanda's life, Mr. Mike's daughter. Oh no, don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll take care of myself. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye. Touch me again. Unless you want the both of us to end up in a ghastly accident right now. I'm truly sorry about everything. I'm, I, I promise it won't happen again. Please, I, I just need you to... Oh my God. Simon, please, don't do this. Talk to me. I mean, don't drive me crazy with all of this. I know I have wronged you and I'm truly sorry. I... Mr. Mike, can you let me be? I can only sleep in your home if that will make you go to heaven. No, 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 please, Simon, please, don't do this. Hello, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Yes, uh, she's here with me. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay, please, hold on, hold on. Dr. Chris, he wants to talk with you. Hello, doctor. Ah, thank God. And thank you so much. 
will be there right away. No, 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 no. Ah, she can go ahead and buy the blood since you have ascertained the authenticity and the match. Yes. Yes, sir. No problem. Ah, I love my daughter so much, doctor. Yes. Yes, we'll be there. Yes, yes, right away. Okay, hold on for him. Doctor said they have gotten a blood match for Amanda. Yes, sorry, sorry, and sorry. Uh, we should come over immediately. Yes. Hello? Mm -hmm. Let, let's just change our clothes. Jenny, how are you? Very well, thank you. Mm. Very nice. Um, I brought some drugs for you from the hospital on doctor's instruction. Please take them as prescribed. Okay. Thank and you so much. And this is um this is twenty thousand naira for your beverages. Mr. Mike asked me to give it to you. And um, he promised to see you. Oh I'm sorry, but I don't have the money. I'll talk things through with him. But my joy right now is that I have satisfied my conscience by saving his daughter's life. So much at peace now. Wow. You're just one in a million. Thank you very much. Thank you too. We are so grateful for all of this. Mike, we are obligated to save lives and we must do it regardless of the circumstances. Yes? Sir, the result was positive. And it's been taken to the lab for cross match. Awesome. Really awesome. <laughs> all right, so you go and prepare the theater. Take along with you Mary and Dr. Emeka. When you guys are done, take Amanda to the theatre. I'll join you shortly. Okay, sir. All right. Doctor, can we see her before she's thrown to the theatre? Okay, but you have to be as fast as possible about it because we will need her almost immediately. Okay. Thank you. Hi, baby. You'll be alright, okay? You're going to live and live healthily again, alright? Mm, my angel. <sighs> Mommy and Daddy loves you. Okay? God is with you. Okay, it's time to take her to the theater. to forgive your husband if he has genuinely apologized. My husband was worse than him. My 
husband was a drunk. He beats me at will. He even brings condom to the house. Hey. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Paul, you're drunk! What? I'm drunk. Are you mad? Are you mad? Paul! What do you mean you are drunk? Why are you drunk? What do you mean I'm drunk? Are you mad? Oh, you, you don't want to argue with me? You know what? You! Next time! Very next time you, you, you will call me drunk, what I'll do to you, eh? what I'll do to you. You will be good, drunk. Call me drunk. First you come home. By yourself. You will call me drunk. Are you mad? Are you, are you mad? No man had ever laid his bloody hands on me. And now Paul in his drunkenness had... <laughs> what gives him the right to strike me for no good reason? I swore and vowed that no man would ever lay hands on me. Never. That would leave him dead. And Paul has done it. Never will you live to strike me again, you asshole. What will it profit you to take his life? Every man needs help, and he needs your help. You can change him from this to a sweet loving husband by showing him love, care, respect, honor, forgiveness, humility, and your prayers even in the midst of violence. You have all it takes to do this. Remember, returning evil for evil does not make you a winner or intelligent. Giving a shoulder to lean on in the midst of a violent situation is a sacrifice that brings about a testimony. There is no perfect man. Forgiveness, humility and love should be your weapon for a sweet marriage. You are your marriage counselor. Sophia. 
Sofia. 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 Why are you? Why are you sitting sleepy on the floor? Welcome, honey. What? Paul, what is the lady's lipstick doing on your neck and on your cheek? Honey, I want to speak with you. About what? About us. What about us? I'm so confused. I don't know what is going on between the both of us. You're so hostile to me. You're never friendly. What wrong have I done? Listen, I don't even know what you're talking about. The laundry man is here. I want to give him the dirty clothes, especially the suits you've worn over and over again. Okay. Calm down now. It's Bond's condom. I'm sorry you found it there, but what are you making a big deal about it? In fact, bring it. Give it to me. Give this to you. Oh, come on, Paul! I said, give it to me. You're not even serious. What's wrong with you? I said, give it to me. Sophia, baby. Sophia? Hi. <laughs> uh, look, um, I'm sorry for what I did, okay? 
Mm, I'm sorry, but I'm supposed to teach you some lesson. Uh, you should learn from what happened today. Hmm? Learn to be, be, be res respectful to, to me, your husband. Hmm? You have to respect me. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you are you angry? Are you angry? Are you angry? Or you think I'm I'm drunk, so I'm stupid. I don't, I, I do, don't know what I'm what I'm saying. I, hmm? I'm drunk, but it's because of you. You cause it, huh? You you cause it. You made me drunk to go outside and drink. You. You're angry. Why, you want to go? You want to leave my house and go? Leave my house and go! Just tell me so uh, you can go back to your people and then ask them to refund my money. Huh? Let them refund me because I paid for you. You are my property. So go to your father's house, tell your people say you should give my refund, no? Huh? destroy his life in such a painful manner. What is your gain? Yes, he has hurt you terribly. You are pained to the point of destruction. When you do this now, the law of the land will be after you. You can run, but you can't hide. Will you also destroy your destiny and your good future for this reason? Will it make you a hero? No, my dear. He needs your help not your destruction. Forgiveness is a virtue, and when you abide in it, it gives you a joyful future. Clean those mess. Help him up. Peace awaits you.
<laughs> it will keep over the head. How are you starting to a monster? It's starting to entreat you to. Baby, I'm so sorry. Please. Please forgive me. I need you. I need help. And I need you to help me. I need your forgiveness. Please. I can't do it without you. Please, babe. I beg you. I beg you. Be me the day I raise my hand at you. I will never, ever. Please, I'm sorry for hurting you. I'm sorry for maltreating you. I'm, okay. I'm sorry for abusing okay. you. Please. Tolerance, forgiveness, prayers, and kindness. Now, my best friends, I think nothing ever happened. All men are the same. There is this drive in them that make them the same. Your husband is not as violent as mine. But Paul has completely changed. I just have to go into it. That's the channel of marriage. Every marriage faces one crisis, temptation to Crisis to certificate marriages. But the way a manner is being handled is the result of it. What is it, Mike? What do you think you're doing? Honey. 
I know I have wronged you greatly. Truly sorry. Please find it in your hearts to forgive me. Please get up. I have forgiven you. You're my husband and the love of my life. Nothing else matters to me but you and our lovely daughter. I truly love you. I love you too. Did I get myself into this? Yes, I love Mike so much. I really do, but I can see that the end result will be very devastating. I am young with a promising future. So why do I want to destroy my life? I beg go. You cannot let one woman come summon me with Juju. What if that woman had poured acid on me? Oh no, God forbid. But, what would have become of me? A lot of people would have said that a successful dancer was attacked with acid by the wife of her man. <laughs> God forbid. It will never be my portion. It means that I'd have to let my go. I thank God for giving me the grace to save his daughter's life. But come to think of it, farming on another woman's land will only blindfold me. And I won't get to see my own land. Yeah, come in. Come in, the door is open. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Mike. I can see you're having fun with whiskey. By the way, how's your daughter doing? Oh, great. She's doing great. Has she gone through with the surgery? Yes, yes. The surgery was successfully carried out yesterday. Oh. And in fact, we went there to see her today. Thank God. Yeah. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, and uh, I will forever remain indebted to you, Jenny. Thank you so, so very much. Well, I believe I did what I had to do. Well, I believe I did what I feel is best in life. Saving lives is of God, no matter what. Genevieve. Uh, thank you very much. I just want to say that I love you so much and you mean so, so much to me. I. Just stop it. Just stop it. Don't just go there anymore. I realize that I've been doing the wrong thing. You see, Mike, your wife and your daughter, they both need you. 
They need your love, they need your attention, your resources, your wisdom and prayers. They need you more than I do. I can keep farming in another woman's land. I will never do that again. See, Mike, I'll always see you as an amazing, loving and caring friend and not take you away from your family. Don't do that. So please just... Just leave. Just go. Leave. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll forever remain grateful to you. Now, who is this now? Oh, her name is Auntie Jenny, and she has come to see you. Thank you, Auntie. It's alright, my dear. How are you doing today? I'm very fine, Auntie. I got to see you fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank God. Don't worry, okay? You'll live here very soon. Yes, the doctor and this and someone have told me so, and I have anything. <laughs> That's alright. Oh, okay, here, I got this for you. Ah, thank you, Auntie. God bless you for me. But what is your name? So I'll tell my dad that about you when you come to me. You're not my new friend. Oh. Okay, my name is Jenny. Okay, Auntie Jenny, I'm very grateful. Okay, I'll need you to do one thing for me, okay? Just get well quick so you can be discharged, taken home, and then you can go back to school, okay? Yes, it's true. In fact, I miss school so much. I don't even know how long I have spent here. I believe our whole day will soon finish. Ah, uh, don't worry. You will leave here very soon, okay? Amen, Auntie. Okay, Ama. I'll have to leave you now so you can rest. Ah, Auntie, you're leaving so soon. Well, it's okay. Thank you for the things you brought for me. You're welcome, my dear. <laughs> but, Auntie, are you married? No, she's not. <laughs> but God gives me a good husband that will always carry like my dad, who will always carry my mom from my room to the bar whenever she's going to work. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Okay, bye. 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 Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, oh, I'm fine. And you? Very well, thank you. Okay. Um, you came for treatment or something? Oh, no. I'm... I just came to see a friend. Anyway, have a lovely day. Daddy, I'm fine. Mm, that's good. Uh-huh. Daddy, I got a new friend today and she even brought me these things. Really? Oh my god. 
That person must be a really wonderful person. Yes, Daddy, she is. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And what is this your friend's name? She said her name is, um, yeah, I got it, Auntie Genevieve. In fact, I've been calling her Jenny. Daddy, is there any problem? Uh, no, no, no problems. Or do you know her? No, no, I was just wondering um, how nice this your new friend is. She must really be a nice person. Auntie... Jenny. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad to hear that. Um, anyway, let me rush off to see the doctor. I'll be back shortly, okay? But daddy, don't stay too long so that you can come and stay with me. No, I won't stay long. I'll be right back, okay? I'll see daddy, you. Daddy, have you been carrying mommy again? Yes, of course, I've been carrying her. Hmm, <laughs> carry, carry, daddy. That's me. I am carry, carry, daddy. Mm -hmm. I'll see you shortly, my angel. Huh? Daddy, yay! Yeah, <laughs> I see my angel is back. <laughs> Give it again, angel. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me again. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I see you all are having fun. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Amanda, how are you? I'm fine. I see. Um, Mr. Mike, yes. medical director would like to see you in his office. Oh, I'll be there right away. All right. Okay, all right. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Mm. <laughs> Let me see him quickly, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. We'll wait for you here. Okay. Mm. Thank God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you imagine the whole stress right. and ah, panic? It's a swell. When I think about your grace and the wonders of your hand, Lord, all I want to say is. You're beautiful. When I think about your grace, when I think about your works, all the things you've done for me, you are beautiful. All the wonders of your hand, all the miracles you've worked, many the things you were. When I try to understand the world. Of your hand, I'm lost just thinking about them. If I start a 